At first, I was so skeptical about clear color kits. I can even understand why some of the builders love this one. Until I discovered this, the shapeshifter. And not just that, one of the coolest feature is this. Today's video, we're gonna talk about Double Z Gundam for a car limited edition. Alright Gunpla folks, so welcome back to another channel and this is a double Z Gundam Verka clear color version limited edition. Now I wanna say thank you to Mon Mon Albert Packard for Ryan Little <laughs> for giving me a full insights about clear color kits and also to this guy Renard Vintic Bro thank you so much for letting me have this kit from you <laughs> and uh, it was a good deal actually I got this kit from this guy around if I'm not mistaken that was 4k so it's a good deal because this kit is really awesome it's really nice and I really love it one of my favorite and guys if you are new to the channel please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that you won't miss a thing and also you will be updated for our new videos like this so let's start so this kit was released way back 2018, this particular version. And way back then, I was so happy having this kit. On this video, we're gonna talk a lot of things about this kit. Why I really love this kit, why clear color version, and there is something is going on with this kit that I am so excited to show you. But before that guys, I wanna show you the first version that I have the regular one now check this one out so this kit I got this one way back 2018 same year but after I after I build this one don't get me wrong this is my first master grade I was so happy also that I am having this kit one of my relatives brought this one all the way from Japan and however I really don't understand that there's something off about this kit. I don't know. There's something missing. I don't know. Please leave a comment below, guys, if you built this one, the regular, the regular one, and let me know about your thoughts, about your experience about building this kit. The decals is so massive. It is everywhere. There, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I'd love to hear from you guys. The box art looks like this and you can see at the left there is a limited item which means there is something on this kit now what i really love the box is the box the box art it's pretty simple it's white and blue shade but it's really catchy to the eyes the weapons of this kit is not that much as you can see here it has one double beam rifle which is a very useful for his added feature Notice these two objects at the backpack. These are the beam sabers. Now from here, you can see here that, that it's really huge. And you will gonna attach the beam effect and you will gonna come up with this. Now this area here, you can insert the hand of this Zeta Gundam. I also tried to compare the beam effect. This is from high grade and this is from master grade. Now check double Z's beam saber <laughs> it's really huge guys
this kit has a lot of moving parts. It may sound complex, but let's start from the top. Let's start from the head so the head can rotate side to side and also it can goes up and down. This part of the shoulder it can rotate 360 degrees without losing the articulation on itself. So it's pretty sturdy guys. So this is a very pretty damn solid. Try not to rotate this kit with the waist because that's not gonna happen guys. It doesn't rotate with the waist. So take note of that. And the arms, it's really, really sturdy as well. The shoulders, you can see here that I can, I can barely rotate. It's pretty solid in spite of that this kit is a straight build. There's a lot of things that moving mechanics in these arms, like at this side, here, and also from here, you can open it up like that. This one also, it's just a rocket launcher, so you can open like this and you can expose these missiles inside. You can also move the wings at the backpack. This one also you can move it towards to the back, but I was very careful because it's really, really hard. It's very sturdy. I have uh, having a difficulty to move this one, so, <laughs> but don't worry guys, it's, it's movable actually. So moving down here, so knee articulation is very strong. You can see it here. I extended it, I bend it, and going back to its place. Not much problem here. As I mentioned, that there is a lot of moving parts on this kit here, the belt thrusters, and it swings. But check this one out, guys. I swing the legs, and I put it down. At my surprise, that kit stands by itself. Though it's not a perfect posture, but no. Compare this one with the regular Master Grade. This is a Gundam Ultron from Gundam Wing. And when I put the Double Z Gundam at the side, you can see the huge amount of difference in terms of build, the height as well. Though Ultron is not Vertica, but they are both Master Grade, so you can really tell the difference. During the time I watched this clip, I was so intrigued and so interested how this kit can be transformed. I was so fascinated the looks of it. So I grabbed the manual and tried to look at it. And here I found it at the very first page that this three transformation here is quite possible. So I'll try to understand and let's have a look. So right from here, I was able to understand everything. Now, understanding the ways, make sure everything is in the correct position, correct rotations, and after that, somehow, I was able to give it a try. So from here, let's take a look and let's go. So looking back the days, I wasn't able to transform my first kit, the regular one. I was so skeptical, I was so afraid, and I did not understand everything of it. Now, I will give a try. And this is my second chance to do it again. So I'll see you at the end.
And there you have it. Double Z Gundam Transformation Success. It's called a G Fortress. Or shall I call it the Shapeshifter? This kit is a mind blowing, guys. If you have this kit and you are able to transform it, then give yourself a tap of a shoulder, a job well done. And this kit is very beautiful. I really love this kit. Now, this kit has two core fighters. So, number one, you can transform this one right like this I'm having right now into a main core of this kit. Now, this is the reason why you cannot rotate 360 degrees with a waist, it's because of this. It's fixed. So, that's the answer of that issue, guys. Here is another transformation, it's called the core base. A mode where the lower part transformation and combined with a core fighter. And we have also a core top. A mode where an upper body transform and gain the functions of a fighter plane. As I mentioned earlier, why I really love this kit is that aside from being a clear color version, this kit, it will react to a UV light. Yes, you heard it right. Now, try to look at this. This is a close-up shot, which is for you uh, guys to convince that there is no LED, there is no wires, just pure reactions to the UV light. Now, if you turn off all the lights, it will gonna be, for example, total blackout. It will gonna be more brighter, the reactions of this kit towards to the UV light. How awesome is that, guys? Now, I know for some of you, you are not quite convinced. So, here's the thing. Um, let's check. So, as you can see here, I did not switch off the lights. And at the bottom, you will notice that, that there is a 4 UV LED. And notice also that white thick wire is attached to the turntable display. And lastly, the kit is just moving around freely. So there's no switch, there's no wire. And then when I switch the lights off, there is the result, guys. Convinced? Please leave a comment below. To sum it up, I was really thinking that this kit is going to be more complicated just because it's clear color and it's transformable. But I've just realized that you need to learn the process, be patient, and understand what's going on on this particular kit. Explore, enjoy, discover. That's what I learned about Double Z Gundam. Aside from its limited edition, this particular kit is really, really beautiful. Now, how about you? Have you ever built this one? Let me know. Please leave a comment below. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that you won't miss a thing. And also, I would like to give my thanks to all my followers. I know there's a lot of things to improve on my channel, guys. I am working so hard on that particular matter. And shout out to this group. Alright, so see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Peace out.